What's going on YouTube? Splint Wigs back with another video. This time, yes, you read that right. We're going to overclock a scuff controller or any controller for that matter on a PC. Um, I did learn about this and did this about a month ago, but I wanted to get some time in playing, make sure that it's worth your time and effort, and also to make sure that the link I'm going to send you to is legit and that nothing bad is going to happen. And I can say I'm a month in, no viruses, no issues, no, everything works perfect. And this makes such a difference. It took me some getting used to to go from the five millisecond to one millisecond response time. It does help, and you are at a disadvantage if you're not doing this. Anyway, let's get into it. Enjoy the video. All right, before we get into the video, yes, I'm going to keep my ugly mug off the screen for the rest of this. But anyway, if you could please like the video, it helps out the YouTube algorithm a lot. And please subscribe to find your way back for more content and giveaways. At a thousand subs, guys, I'm giving away a NetDuma R2 router. Get in on it. Anyway, Go to the link in the description below and you know copy and paste it into your browser and it'll bring you to this screen right here. And once you get this open, you're gonna to wanna to come down to this one right here and you wanna click it and open it. And I already did this, but I'll go through it again with you guys. You, you come over here, you just click download. Then you come down here, you hit open. Then what you do is you click driver and then you're gonna to want to extract. And now it's going to want you to uh, save it, and I just uh, ended up saving it to my uh, desktop from here. I'm not going to do it again, but you just want to save it to your desktop or anywhere that you're going to remember where it's going to be. And then you're going to end up, you're going to see it's going to put, um, I actually did this twice, I think. I, that's why I have all these extra uh, folders and stuff, but the only one that you're going to need, come out here and you double click the driver folder, and then you double click the setup do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You hit yes. Then you hit this drop down arrow right here and you want to come down to all. Okay, now what you want to do is highlight the one that says wireless controller. Then you're going to click install service. Then you're going to want to hit the drop down. It won't be on a thousand whenever you get started, but you want to highlight 1000. Once you put it on 1000, you click install service. Then you want to make sure that this box is filter on device and then for the third time you hit install service now this whole time your controller has been plugged into your pc right now you just want to unplug it and then plug it back in and then you'll see that it will now say filter yes rate 1000 bit interval one it is that easy guys at this point you are done and thanks for watching the video and as always catch you on the next one